Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you three crazy text animations in Premiere Pro without using any plugins. So let's jump to the Premiere. Fade in and out effect. At first, select this T icon and type your text. Then align these text to click here. You can change the font click here. Now middle of this animation point. Then open effects control tab under the opacity, select rectangular mask, increase the mask size around the text. Then drag the mask on the left side of the text. Then increase the feather value around 250. Now click here to make a keyframe, then move on a couple frames forward and drag on the mask of your text. Now it's too fast, so we increase the last keyframe distance a little bit. It's cool. Now move to the last position on this animation and add a keyframe here. Now move on a few frames forward, then drag this mask out of the text. Now see the preview. Now add a sound effect for more cinematic. Okay, it's perfect. Let's see the final preview. Typewriter effect in Premiere Pro. At first, select this little T icon and type your text. Then change the font as you like. Decrease the font size a little bit, then set the position middle on your program window to click here. Now open the Effects tab and search Linear Wipe and apply it to the text layer. Then open Effects Control tab under these Linear Wipe effects, set Wipe Angle 270 degree. Now increase Transition Completion around 100% and make a keyframe here. Now move to the last position on this animation and reset transition completion. Now see the magic. It's cool. Now make a blinking effect, so select this rectangular mask and draw a shape here. Zoom this program window for perfect matching this shape. Okay, then open the effect control tab under the mask layer, add a keyframe default value on this opacity option, then move three frames forward, simply click the right arrow key three times. Now change opacity value zero, and again, three frames forward and make it 100%. Now select these three keyframes and click control C, and then paste it forward to hit control V or command V for Mac, do it continuously. Our blinking effect is ready. Now we need to animate it. So make a keyframe at the very beginning of the position. Then move to the last point of this animation to click here. This little arrow icon helps perfectly move on the next keyframe. Don't do it manually. Now change to shape position over the text. Now see here, this does not match perfectly, so we change the keyframe distance and match it. Okay, it's perfect. Now I'm adding a typewriter sound effect. You can find the sound effect on YouTube. Now see the final preview. Awesome bouncing text effect. Select this little T icon and type your text. Then change the font and increase the font size as you like. Align these text middle on the program window. Now see the text layer size five second Set this point middle on your text, then decrease the text layer size around 2 seconds. Then 3 frame backward and press M to add a marker. Now select this text layer and hold ALT, then copy it one track above and set the starting position on marker. Now type your next text. I am doing it faster because you don't have to wait. Now my text is ready, select this first text layer and open Effects tab. Search for Transform and apply it on the first text layer. Move to the Effects Control tab under the Transform effect. At first, uncheck the Use Composition Shutter Angle. This time, make a keyframe for Scale and increase Scale value 1800%. Now move on, 5 frame forward, hold Shift key and right arrow key one time. Then set scale value 
Again, move three frames forward, hit the right arrow key three times, now set scale value 100%. Now the timeline is red, so we render it for a real-time preview. Hit enter key and render it. After rendering this effect, see the bouncing effect is ongoing. Now add some blur for more realistic. Now open effects. Search directional blur, then apply to the first text layer. Then open effect control tab, increase blur direction 40% and blur length 25%, then make a keyframe here and move on the next keyframe and reset blur length value 0%. In this time, our timeline is red again, so we need to render it. Simply hit enter button on your keyboard and render it. See the preview? Now set the playhead on the marker point, then open effect control tab under the transform effect, make a keyframe for scale and move three frames forward and scale it 0%. Okay, our bouncing effect is ready now. Just copy these two effects and paste another text layer. So open effects, control tab, select transform effect, right? Click here and copy these effects, then select all text layers and paste it. Again, open effects, control tab, Copy these directional blur effect and select all text layers and hit Ctrl V to paste it. Okay, then render the effect again. Now see, the bouncing text animation is ready. This time, we need to add sound effect. I am doing it faster because you don't have to wait. Okay, now see the final preview. I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.